Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Boy of Hell, AKC, and I'm back with another video. Today, we got MLB The Show 23, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the best, and I mean the best, creative player. I've seen other YouTubers, they sometimes neglect the fielding, or sometimes they don't have the most speed, or like no steal. But I mean, you can see the stats right here 125 on everything hitting, 99 on everything fielding, 99 speed, 99 steal, and not to be neglected, really great pitching stats 125 hit through nine. 117 pitching clutch, 100K through 9, uh, 99 velocity. Look at the pitching mix up there. Cutter, sinker, changeup, screwball, slurve. Really meta pitches. And uh, I'm going to be showing you all how to get this all set up right now. All right, to get started, before you even make the ball player and you start getting in the road to throw, the first thing you want to do is go up here, create, it, or create go to vaults, and you're going to need to download a roster. You want to go over to roster, click square, sort, or not sort, sorry, search, Switch it to online ID, and you're going to type in hard part. H-A-R-D-P-A-R-D. -A -A and I'm going to do that real quick. So you type in hard part. is this one. Hard part, road of the show with the reds. You download that roster, and once you got that, now you can go to road of the show. You're going to create new. Load the roster. So you're going to load that roster that you just downloaded. Then you're going to start. You're going to do new ball player. You want to do a two-way. This has to be a two-way. pretty obvious. Uh, you want to do velocity. And then you're probably going to want to do contact. I have a contact guy. I've seen other people with power hitters, but I've yet to see them max everything out with power. And the reason for that is the two-way glitch where equipment and perks like uh, count for double the amount of attributes you get. And so I'll explain that later, but go with contact. You want to do starting pitcher. And this is where you get to choose whatever position you want your guy to be in. Um, most people do catcher, and I did catcher as well. So you choose whatever position you want him to be. I choose catcher. Uh, face scan doesn't matter. General info. This is personal preference. The only thing you can't change later. You can make this whatever you want. First name, last name, obviously. Make him a switch hitter. Um, is the looks later. You can't change his height. And wait later I think I, everything else you can change later but you're gonna want to make them I made my guy as short as possible because I like the smaller strike zone I know other people don't necessarily like that because it kind of not everybody wants to be as short as possible some people just hit better with taller guys it's personal preference wherever you want the weight doesn't matter I made my guy as small as possible just for the humor of it uh, the rest of that stuff doesn't matter so just set it to what you want you know that's all preference really at that point just make him a switch here though that's the most important thing that i would recommend skip all this doesn't matter you just got to get to the the draft and you're going to want to get drafted by the reds yes yes doesn't matter doesn't matter all right when i get to this one do you want to play for the cardinals or whatever your favorite team is just say no i'd rather prefer play for a different team and you're going to go to the reds Right here, you see their first and everything. They got all the good players. Every other team has a bunch of Joe Randoms on their team. You do the Reds. Skip, skip, skip. Get to the draft to get drafted by the Reds. All right, so you get drafted by the Reds. Here you are in the locker room. Go to settings, gameplay. You want to turn this on legend. I think it might help you get attributes quicker. It may not, but just to be safe, put it on legend. Uh, that should be all you need to do there. Make sure you apply changes. And now the next thing you need to work on is getting your skill set to this diamond one bullet. I already have it because I grinded this away a long time ago just for stubs. But basically, all you got to do is, task and rewards, is this right here. So you start off with bronze, and here are your missions, right? Innings pitch, strikeouts, plate appearances, hits, extra base hits. You need to get this up to 100 stars, and you'll get this silver cheesy spark plug. You equip the silver one, and then you can work your way up this one to the gold, and so on until you get to the diamond one. By the way... I should mention this now. If you don't have the diamond one, then you should play your games on beginner. Uh, the legend is just for when we're simulating. So once, so you need to get the diamond um, skill set first. 
So play on beginner until you get that. But once you get beginner, go back to legend. And all you need to do is just simulate. Simulate through the entire season. Simulate as much as you can. Do not play a single game because it will get your base attribute stats up. Okay, so I'm back on Diamond Dynasty just to show you guys something. Here's the new guy I just created, this Joe Random. If you look at his stats right now, everything is 30, right? Everything is 30 because that's what it starts at. So what you need to do is when you're simulating in Road to the Show, the most you can upgrade your base stats is by 20. So the highest my contact right will look on the screen can ever be, the highest it can go is 50. Same with every other stat, right? It can only go up to 50. So that's what you need to do is you need to simulate entire seasons over and over and over until most of your base stats get to 50 now on my uh you know my actual cap not everything's at 50 but most of the hitting stats are and my speed is at 50 my steel is pretty high so it doesn't all have to be 50 you can make do with like a little less than that once the equipment boost and everything but just you need to sim seasons until you get basically your all your hitting stats at least to 50 your base stats that is All right, so as you can see, I started in April. I already simmed about two months. Those guys in the road show never shut up in the background. So I simulated about two months. Now if I go to my squad and I look at my player here, you can see some of his base stats are up from 30, right? So it really does not take a long time. Now I will say from 30 to 40 is pretty quick, but once you're trying to go from 40 to 50, it does slow down a little bit. It won't matter since you're simming anyways. You'll just have to sim more. It's not a big problem. But look at the base stats, right? Starting to go up a little bit. So back to Road to the Show. Also, here's another thing I'd definitely recommend is um, going to settings and sliders right here and just turning all the human stuff up, the CPU thing down. Again, I don't know if this actually matters when you're simming, but um, it, it can't hurt to do it anyways. And then uh, base runner steel frequency. I turned this up a lot all the way whenever I was doing my simming so that hopefully my cap would um, steal more in game and get my steel rating up. I don't know if this helped or not, but I do have a 99 steel on my cap, so maybe it did. So again, turn all the good stuff up, bad stuff down, pretty simple. So let's assume you have the diamond skill set and you've simulated enough to where your base stats are all pretty high. Now it's time to get to the equipment and the perks. So for that, I am going to switch back to the cap that I actually use. So give me one sec. Okay, so I'm back on the cap that I actually use. And here is, obviously use the bullet skill set, the only one you should use, the only one you can use. All right, so the perks I have, and I all have these for very specific reasons. You saw all my stats, they're maxed out. So these are all here for specific reasons, and they go with my equipment. Power 3, Power 2, Speed 1, and Speed 2. All right. Um, your pitch repertoire, if you want to pitch with the cap, these matter. And I would definitely recommend cutter, sinker, and change up. The other two pitches, you know, you can play around with, but these are like meta pitches right here. So you you want a obviously a good mix. And uh, well, here's why. Got it. The pitch. Swing. Cut on and miss. Springer swing more homers than Sammy Sosa. Yeah, and Sammy Sosa along with. Swings and misses. So that's why you want those good pitches. I mean, you saw the clip right there. I was striking people out left and right. The guy couldn't touch me. So here's the equipment. This is probably the most important part because, like I said, the equipment will double. Whatever the stats are, it doubles when you have your creative player in your starting rotation and as your DH guy. So why I made a contact guy and not a power guy is because probably this bat right here, which gives plus seven power, plus seven power, so plus 14 power, but when it doubles, it's plus 28 power. So you don't need to make a power hitter when you have a bat that'll give you plus 28 power to both lefties and righties, right? So here's the bat, the KS-10. Batting gloves, the Knox series. Fielding glove, this one, you can see PR, D32AB, Bregman. Cleats, these ones, add a zero afterburners. Catcher's mess, I don't even have one. Chest protector, this one, whatever. Gold five block, sure. 
uh, leg protectors. I don't know. This one for three block. Didn't care about that, really. The uh, elbow guard, seven discipline, six durability is the discipline. That reason I have these on. Shin guard, tater, baseball leg guard, wrist guard, this gold one as well. I mean, I'm not spending too much money on equipment. This is very affordable. The gloves were expensive. The cleats were expensive. The bat wasn't that bad. But we are on compression sleeve, just another gold one, super cheap, right here, vapor slider sleeve two. Bat grip is the Jackie Robinson one, and you can get this from playing the Jackie Robinson Conquest. So this was free. I wear just these random pair of glasses, but they're not exactly random. I have them for a reason. You'll see, like, this one is plus three discipline, but these glasses are plus two. So really, this is plus six discipline, this is plus four. And if I had these ones on, my discipline might be like 123 which isn't the end of the world. It's still obviously really great, but I want max stats everything just because it looks a lot cleaner. So these specific glasses, ritual item, axle grease. So all those stats you saw with all the hitting, the fielding, and the, the running had nothing to do with my ritual. My ritual is plus 10 pitching clutch, clutch plus 10K through 9, plus 10 home runs through 9, plus 10 walks through 9. Because unlike a lot of the YouTubers that you might see like making creative players, they completely just neglect the pitching side of things. They just use them as DH and as, or sorry, they just use them as like a catcher, a fielder and a hitter. I use my guy to pitch as well as field and hit because he can be the best pitcher in the game if you give him a, a super wonky sidearm throwing motion and five meta pitches, right? That you can throw a cutter for 100 miles per hour and a change it for 70, right? So I put axle grease. Socks, Jackie Robinson Day, um, best socks in the game, and you can also get these from the Conquest map. So make sure you're grinding that Conquest map because you can get two, you know, diamond high tier uh, equipment. So once you have that equipment, you have your pitches that you want, you have your perks, and that will do it for the, you know, perks and equipment side of things. That'll get your guy where you need to be. Um, one more thing, uh, motions and sound. Okay, one last thing. Down here at the bottom, motions and sound. I don't know why it's under batting stance creator, but you click batting stance creator, you go over pitching style. I use Tyler Rogers. Obviously, the sidearm ones are very popular. If you know another one that you think is glitchy and hard to hit, equip it as, you know, you can equip that, but it's current players, Tyler Rogers here. And uh, tough to hit, right? Sidearm, not many people throw sidearm. The rest of this stuff doesn't matter. My my hitting stance is Chipper Jones because I have Chipper on my team and I like his stance. I hit well with him. So once you have that, you have the equipment, the perks. It's time to go back to Diamond Dynasty. And this is an important part of the glitch. I'm putting air quotes as I say the word glitch because it's been out since the games came out and it hasn't been fi fixed. So maybe it's just a feature. So you're here on your... Uh, you know, your team management, you're going to want to put your cap in at DH. So you're going to, the easy way to do this is to filter, put max overall to 65. And he's going to be the first guy right here. Jimmy McGill, you put him in at DH. I know he's a catcher. You put him in at DH. Then on your starting rotation, you put him in at your, it doesn't matter which slot you put him in, but you put him in your slot, uh, your starting rotation as well. So here he is in your starting rotation. And here he is in your DH. The reason you can't put him in catcher is because you can't move him. Once he's in your starting rotation, he has to only be on DH here, but it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is put him in a DH and put, so you're going to have him at catcher. So you want the person DHing in your catcher slot. See, I have Julio Rodriguez. Obviously, he's not a catcher, right? But once you go into a game, you're just going to switch the two and it won't matter. So here we are. You see on the uh, loadout screen, you see his contact, like his stats are all bad, right? Here's his actual base stats. Like I said, they only go up to 50. So not all of them are at 50. Like, look at his fielding. 30 arm, 37 accuracy, but once we're in a game, it's 99s. So you put him in at DH. You put him in a pitcher. And if you want to use your created player to pitch, if you ever want him to actually pitch, you need to have a catcher or somebody who can play catcher on your bench. I have Real Muto. If you have Kondo, if you have anybody who can play catcher, you need to put him in on your bench. So let's pretend we're going to go into a game, yeah? Single player, play CPU. Let's just go into a game. If you aren't using them to pitch, then you will just select whatever pitcher you usually would from these four, because you're going to have a slot taken up for your cap. So from these four, 
you pick a picture, and then all you have to do on this screen is click square on your cap and go down to the guy you want to DH, Julio, and click square. And it'll swap the position. So now Julio is the DH, and my cap is the catcher. And that's exactly what I want. And so you get into the game. I'm just going to throw a quick pitch real quick. Okay. So you get in the game. You can see behind the plate. It's none other than my guy, right? Who else wears this green neon with the pink glove? That's my cap, right? And we can look at his stats again. 125 is across the board, max fielding, max running, right? So that's easy. Also, one more thing to note, and you'll see why I'm bringing this up. I have this 99 Shohei Otani on my bench. Not in my starting rotation, on my bench. And let me show you why when I get into this next game as well. So, that was if you wanted to use the cap just as a catcher or whatever position you have, just as a fielder and a hitter, right? But if you want to pitcher them, then obviously on this screen, you'll choose them as your pitcher. And then on this screen, you could leave them as your DH, but now look, I have Julio Rodriguez as my catcher, right? So all I got to do is switch out Julio and Real Muto, and now you have an actual catcher, and your cap is DHing. If he's pitching, he can only DH. He obviously can't play the field. I tried it once before where I still swapped Real Muto and McGill, right? Now see how they're both DHing. That means when your cap comes up to bat, I'm pretty sure the game will just freeze. That happened to me when I was playing a, uh, a friend, and uh, the game just froze. So don't do that unless you're trying to force a freeze off like an absolute cheese lord. That might work. I don't know. I've never tried it in a real game. So he's your DH, and he's your pitcher. We get into the game, and I'm going to bring up what I said about that um, having Shohei on your bench because if you have your cap in your starting rotation but you're not going to pitcher them, you might not have the most stamina you only have four pitchers to go through, right? So you might run low on stamina sometimes. So all you got to do is go to your bullpen, and this 99 Shohei will always be in there with max stamina, at least as of May 6th. It's still not patched. Again, don't know if it's a glitch because it's been out since the game's been out. They take forever to fix things. So you can always, every other, not every other game, literally every game, my first guy out of the bullpen is this 99 Shohei. He can give you nine innings. He's the starter with the stamina of a starter, not a relief pitcher. Usually you can only have eight guys in your bullpen. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It just adds an extra guy to your bullpen. It's a 99 Shohei S-tier card. So if you have the stubs to buy this Shohei, you definitely should because this is straight cheese. Every game you can bring a Shohei up out of your bullpen. It's great. So here's my guy pitching. You see he's got a super wonky sidearm throwing 97 mile per hour cutter. It can go up to 99. Super tough to hit. Sinker, screwball, changeup. Look how slow the changeup is mixed with the cutter. Super slow, right? And again, let me just throw this. Well, I struck out a Baltimore Oriole on rookie mode. Here are the stats one more time just to show that it still works, right? And then look at the pitching stats now. 125 hits, 100 K. So this is a really good pitcher. It is a really good fielder. It does not take that many stubs to make with the equipment. And it, it doesn't take that much time to get his stats up with the simulating. So really advisable to do this because you'll be able to use this guy obviously all year long. It's a core card. It's not a set card. You won't have to worry about you know losing him or whatnot. Maybe you have to worry about this getting patched, but the, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of funny to just bring up they're not going to patch anything. One last thing to note that I can think about is when you're doing these simming, you see I'm in 2023 right now. Once you sim all the way to I think it's 2032, you might hit a point where you can't sim anymore. It just won't let you. All you got to do is back out to the main menu here, go to more options, start new, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to load the roster like last time, except this time you're going to use your active ball player. You're not going to make a new one. You're going to use your active one. And all it's going to do is start back up just like this, but with the cap you already have progress for. So you're not going to lose progress. You just kind of got to go through this again, get picked by the Reds, and all that, you're going to start back out in double A. So that's all you got to do for that. So it's no big deal once it happens. Don't worry. You're not stuck. You're not frozen. It's not the end of the, you know. You can just start up another road to social season, grind, uh, simulate through 11, 12 years. It'll freeze again. And just keep doing that over and over until your base stats are up. All right. So that will do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I mean, this is, this, this is the best cap you can get. 
That's why I have the axle grease as the ritual item because you get plus 10 to all these per nines and your pitching clutch. Super important. Your pitching clutch replaces your hits through nine when the other team has a runner in scoring position. And a lot of people neglect the fielding and the steal stat. But if you have 99 steal, if you can get a single, it might as well be a double because nine out of 10 times, you're going to be able to just easily steal second base. You got to run in scoring position. And with 99 speed, that means another single and that cap is going from second to home. It is so important to have fast base runners. And with the fielding, if you're a catcher, it's not the most important. The arm thing's important, but the fielding reaction is not important. Uh, you can put them anywhere in the field, but most people choose to make him a catcher because catchers kind of is the weakest position. I mean, Real Muto is a great card, but like if you wanted to put him in the outfield, there's Mike Trout, you know, Ken Griffey Jr., Julio Rodriguez, Sammy Sosa. If you want to put him in the infield, obviously there's a lot of great infielders too. So that's why most people choose catcher. That's why I chose catcher. And um, yeah, that'll do it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment. I can answer every question. I've, I've worked out every detail of, of this Again, I don't know if it's a glitch. I'm going to call it a grind. I've worked out every detail of this grind. So just ask away. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next one. Peace.